What's up everyone? Welcome back to Battle Cruiser with a Mind 2 Grid Master. In the last episode, we got four wins and got super close to 5.3k MMR. We are only missing four MMR, and that means we are just a couple wins away from top 50 Grandmaster NA MMR. Let's begin. Okay, first game of the day is against the Protoss. Now I do have to say, guys, <laughs> after that last episode, I really have been thinking about Doing the disgusting cheese again, basically. Now, I do want to do a different version than last time. If you guys didn't see the episode, it was it was a fantastic cheese, okay? I flew my factory in the base, started making Widow Mines, Proxy the Battle Cruiser. It was crazy and fantastic. But I think we can make that cheese even better. So I need to... Uh, hopefully, if we get a good map for it, I could try it. So here, the first thing I looked for is if there's place to land a factory in the main. Uh, I don't think there is because people would probably wall off the Reaper cliff if there's a building here. Now, there's actually no space on this map, but maybe if we get a good map to fly factory into people's bases later on, then I'm definitely going to go for it. I wonder if that could work against Zerg, actually. Like, you, you would think it doesn't, but... I mean, if you get Cloak really early, I don't, they're not going to have spores. I mean, they might see it with an Overlord. That's another scary thing. They can also make spores really fast, though, so probably not. Uh, but it would be really fun to try. I mean, the scariest thing is actually that you cannot really defend without the Widowbites, right? So if your Widowbites are in your opponent's base, uh, what do you have in your own base to defend? Now here we're playing against Good Juju. Don't think we've played against him before. So maybe I should just start this with a nice, clean macro game. Show him the power of Battle Cruiser with my two Grandmaster. By the way, guys, just a question. Once we reach Grandmaster MMR, should I, like, change the name of the series to, like, Battle Cruiser with my in Grandmaster or something? Because right now, I said it in the intro, I think we are the equivalent of rank 60 GM or something like that. So it sounds kind of silly to say two Grandmaster. Might give people the vibe that we're... Uh, not quite there yet, that they were maybe still in Master League or something. Uh, well, yeah, that, that might actually be confusing. I, I'm just gonna, I, I explained it multiple times, but it's, I know it's very confusing, so I'm gonna explain it again. I was in Master League, but it's only because I don't have the game required. But you have to play 30 games, I believe, in the last three weeks. And since I sometimes take a break, I barely don't reach it. So if I had enough games, I would easily be Grandmaster, but I'm just missing the game requirement. It's not an MMR thing, a point thing or anything like that. I just don't have enough games. So we are effectively Grandmaster, uh, but not really. I, I guess that's the best way to put it. I know it's very confusing and all that. Wish it was a little bit more clear um but that's that's the best explanation i can offer to you guys so we're gonna kill the probe here um he's gonna trade that for some scouting information which i don't mind at all i mean i don't think there was anything particularly interesting to scout there he could already tell it was a double gas from a long time ago so i don't think we have to worry about having given away any valuable information and since the probe is dead that does allow us to send the reaper across right away which is very comfortable Command center is going to go down. Now, I feel like in the last few games, we have been playing against a lot of people sending the Adept across the map, which has been challenging. Now, I think it's a good time to just YOLO in here already. Adept might be... Oh, it's a Stalker. Okay. Then I can just go here. I should be able to escape with a good grenade. Let's see. Is the grenade good enough? Looks like it is. There we go. We're going to be able to escape. And we saw no tech and a battery. That means my opponent delayed his tech. Uh, to be safe and that is really good for us because I'm not attacking anytime soon and I can spoil you with this guys there are widow mines coming and widow mines do not care about batteries I think widow mine might be like the only unit that we have as terror that doesn't care about batteries right like everything else has a hard time against batteries maybe some of the heavier hitters don't really like let's say Thors or maybe once you get like a certain amount of siege tanks. Besides that, I think the Widowbite is the only thing that doesn't really care. Let's see if the tech is here. Double gateway. All right. So our opponent is definitely playing very safe. Looks like those stalkers were coming across the map too. So let me make a bunker because I do want to uh, move those widow mines at some point. He has a lot of stalkers, you know. Three gate, Twilight Council. Stalkers are back home again. This one is not going to escape. Uh, so I'm just going to buy as much time as I can. That's the best thing I can do here. Maybe you can juke a little bit more. Not going to be able to escape with that one. Um, so he pulled the stalkers back. I, I think that gave us enough time for this bunker to get up. But bunkers take so freaking long to build, by the way. I really wish they would build faster. Uh, but then the problem is... I know you guys. You would just use it to bunker as the opponents better. You guys can't fool me. So, uh, yeah, maybe that's not the best idea. So we're going to have a four Widowmine drop here. I'm going to fly into the natural. We got four Marines. We haven't seen a Robo. So unless that's proxied, I don't think there's going to be, um, let's say, a 4-gate blink attack coming. At least not too soon. But 
Maybe he'll take a page out of my book. I think I played this game on stream, actually. That was really cool after a proxy nexus. I went for a five-gate blink with a sentry. And then I hallucinated a phoenix to get up onto the high ground. That's also a possible play. Let's look at the gases. There's only four gases, which means I'm going to have to make some extra bunkers here. Because we might be getting attacked. Then I drop two in each mineral line. That seems like the best play. Go on, next mineral line is its turn now. One of those with I still hasn't shot yet, so that's nice. Now, the stalkers being on my side of the map is a good sign that we are being attacked. Like, normally you could say, well, maybe he's just poking, but uh, you don't really do that uh, with a couple stalkers early on in, in PvT. Like, you would rather use them uh, to defend with mine drops, for example, right? So, uh, yeah, that's definitely pretty suspicious. Second bunker is on the way. I'm a little worried about him blinking into the main because I don't have with mines in position yet. That would be quite difficult to deal with. Let me send out this SCV. And check what's going on. Wait, did he back off after going all the way here with his stalkers? Ooh, that is not the best stalker usage, I have to say. Uh, I hope he's still planning to blink into my base. Else he really just uh, took a lot of damage unnecessarily by not defending the medivacs and then not attacking. Oh, I remember this. I lost the battlecruiser cruiser here once because it's, it's really hard to click into the corner uh, unless you tilt your screen. And I didn't realize it at the time. So the stalkers are in front of my base. I saw them on the minimap. See? Looks like he's not planning to blink in just yet. Battlecruiser is about to finish. This could be a really good link up. Yeah, he definitely wants to blink up here, you can tell. So I'm just going to burrow a couple more Widow Mines. And then it's time for the Battlecruiser. He, he might go for an instant recall. Uh, it seems smarter. Look, you can't even see it there, by the way. It's actually crazy. Seems smarter to go for the natural. Oh, he blinks in the Widow Mines. Look. Oh my god, that is disgusting. And now the Battlecruiser is here combined with four Widow Mines. And this attack is looking so freaking good. Here we go. He already used Blink. So he can't blink those away. That bunker is still alive because so many stalkers died to those freaking widow mines. He Wait, this widow mine can still shoot. Here we go. It's actually gonna get two stalkers as well. And he blinked towards my battle cruiser, I think, in just this fell sequence here. He has been absolutely annihilated. That's the best way I can put it. There's still a widow mine off cooldown here, by the way. Uh, it sucks that I don't have um an armory because then they might actually stay alive too but here this battlecruiser is going to stay alive let me make sure to turn my camera this time so it doesn't die to the stalkers again that's a look you can't see it how are you supposed to click there without turning the camera that's actually crazy well at least you guys saw me fail with that once before on this map if you remember uh now hopefully you guys don't fail it yourselves because if you lose a battlecruiser that's very freaking painful Maybe I even won that. I'm not even sure. I might have actually won that game. Now, let's see. He's not going home yet. Um, I do want to teleport in already. Nah, it, it, it's not smart. I think we should skip that idea for now. I know uh, I like my crazy ideas, but here is not going to be the right move. At this point, I don't expect him to move out again with the Stalker. So I'm going to cancel all the bunkers or salvage them rather and get my five command center set up going. Let's see, what does he have here? Nothing. He, he kept nothing at home uh, for my battle cruisers. That is very interesting. Gonna get my five command center. Here we go. This one is gonna destroy. He is still busy killing the Widow Mines. I mean, it's decent for him. And uh, what is he doing with the Stalkers, though? Is he ever gonna come back? This is kind of strange. Dude, I keep thinking the battle cruiser is dead because I just can't see it from there in the corridor. Okay, so I need to get my planetary self now. That's the next plan. I'm sending this next group of Widow Mines around. That is a lot of stalkers okay that, that was more stalkers than i thought he was gonna have not gonna lie guys that's that's kind of scary okay we're really need to get these planetaries up asap oh we're just suffering from it again oh man this corridor is so freaking scary every time it's just if you don't like pay attention to it and really get that battle cruiser in the corner you can just be screwed instantly that is that is not ideal well i guess it's all right i mean general airspace uh is very strong in starcraft so that's okay if it's nerfed a little bit uh not the ideal way to nerf it, I suppose, but it is what it is. Now, I do have two battle cruisers. I'm going to get building armor because I think... Not trying to get overconfident here. I think we're ahead enough that our main focus uh, is to not die rather than to kill him right away. Like, there's no probes here at all. Oh, that even kills a couple. I'm going to teleport this one back home. Maybe I could move with all three of those battle cruisers at the same time. That'd be decent. I'm going to try to get these bases up. This is going to be a, a hard part in the game mostly because i don't have pressure on his base right now so he could be moving out and doing some real damage uh, if i would have to guess i would say the stalkers are still at home but i i can't say that with 100 percent certainty gonna put okay he's going to the planetary that's very nice that means i have time to burrow these mines over here so if he comes back around oh this could be huge i'm even gonna try to oh no he has an observer there yeah i, I should have figured that one out okay that that could have been very cool it wasn't in the end sorry for hyping you guys up that's my bad did my best how many stalkers is that 
Uh, yeah, I can I can deny that with my battlecruisers. Okay, you have to be very careful here because battlecruisers do uh, die to stalkers. But um, I have enough battlecruisers to contest it, so I'm uh, gonna prioritize getting this base up. Oh, he, that is not what you want to do. I, I can even save that one, by the way. It still has a teleport. There you go. He's losing so many freaking units here. I, I can even use these SCVs to repair. Is he going to try to go for that? Let me teleport that one out. There we go. It's saved, but he did use the blink for it. He's going to lose another stalker, and what a trade. Dude, if your battlecruiser micro is on point, these things are so freaking efficient. It's it's crazy. Yeah, let's repair this bad boy. I'm not sure where the... Oh, it's right here. Let's make sure to repair this. I, I did have a lot of SCVs AFK throughout this game oh i clicked on the wrong one i was i don't know if you guys could see that my bl my brain was literally exploding i was like wait why can't i repair that it was full hp i was clicking on the wrong one <laughs> that made me feel a little bit silly there but that's okay sometimes i have to be the silly goose guys that's all, all i can say now it might be time for me to teleport across i mean the planetaries are not gonna get broken uh, not easily at least he would lose a lot trying to kill those so i got my one on on the way i do need to make sure i get a lot of scvs these widow mines are in a good position I'm going to get the range for the planetaries as well. Because planetaries are really freaking good against stalkers. And let's try to rally those all here. I guess I probably just had a miss rally all this time. Uh, that's where all the AF yeah, exactly. That's where all the, all the AFK SVs came from. Going to try to take that base on the right side. And I would say we're looking pretty good here. We have the setup. And I have uh, finally the room to safely move out. Like, I don't necessarily need to distract them anymore. I am I am just safe in my base. That's very comfortable. Let me get a couple extra starports. Um, 90 SCVs already. Very good. Uh, he has a few static defense buildings, but it, it's just nothing spectacular. He's just going to recall back to his base. I need to be careful. Uh, how many stalkers is it? Not that many, looks like. Blink forward. Do it. I dare you. What's his upgrades? He has plus one. So he does have better upgrades than me. Okay, there we go. Four Yamato is going to be quite nice. He doesn't have enough stalkers to kill those battlecruisers, so I don't have to worry about it. I don't really want to get a full-on trade, especially not in the battery overcharge, but... Uh, you know, just skirming around the edge over here is very nice. Let me get a second factory. Might as well kill that one while I'm at it. I do have a couple of battle cruisers. Let me try to get every widow mine across the map too. Oh, this is such a good fight. He's not really okay. He wasn't paying attention there. I was only killing the battle cruiser or the stalker at the edge there. He's gonna try to target this one. Wait, it's time. I'm gonna drop the mules, guys. I don't think he has enough stalker, so I'm just gonna go for the repair. And I don't think he can kill these anymore with the repair. He doesn't have a magic. Uh, or like a snowball count of stalkers, I should say. Now, this planetary is going to finish too. I have 109 SCV, guys. Oh, my God. Only in Battlecruiser Mine you could do something like that. Oh, he went for Void Race, but the stalkers are already dead. And here come the Widow Mines, guys. He might kill one Battlecruiser, but that is not worth it. There we go. The Void Ray goes down, and all my Widow Mines have arrived. And Goo Juju has been annihilated by the Battlecruiser Widow Mine play. Units lost. Looking absolutely delicious as always. 4K against 10.5. And this was just a very clean, typical game. My opponent mostly made mistakes in the early game. Wasn't really sure if he was going to attack me or stay at home. I delayed him for minutes, it felt like. Then he blinked into my Widow Mines while he was dying at home. That was a beautiful sequence. Still was kind of tricky to, uh, to finish the game off against all the Starkers, but we did the job for now. Fantastic warm-up game. Let's go to game number two. All right, game number two against Joe Bob Joe. Now, this this name I do remember as well. We have played against him before. Uh, as per usual, recently, I have no idea what series that was in, but it must have been one of the recent ones, I suppose. Uh, but yeah, it doesn't really matter for Battlecruiser with my two good master, of course. Now, I wonder if there is some kind of other cheese we can do with Battlecruiser with a mind, you know? Like on this map, for example, it's, it's really hard to fly a factory in someone's base. I mean, that is normally not a metric you guys would <laughs> think about when uh, discussing a map, of course, but uh, if you look at it here, I would love to do like some kind of proxy widow mine. So like maybe like proxy a factory super close and walk them in. That does kind of rely on my opponent not having his units in position. Now, this could be multiple factors. This doesn't mean that my opponent is playing bad or whatever. Uh, it could also mean that I, let's say, go in with a Reaper. And then drag his units to the main and then walk the Widow Mines into the natural. Now, it might not be quite the same level of effect as the uh, factory in the main ad in the last episode. But, I mean, if it works, it works. It's always nice to find new cheeses. Now, I do have a feeling this one is not going to take the title of most disgusting cheese ever. Uh, we're going to have to find something better for that. But for now, it'll do. Uh, so, I'm going to build a factory. I went for gas first, double gas. That's like the worst build for your economy you can possibly do. And the reason I went for that is because I think it's the only way I can afford both a Reaper and a Factory. 
If you go for a barracks first, you have to make a marine or you have to delay the factory by making the reaper. As you can see now, I'll be able to afford both. I'm gonna start by making the reaper, of course, and then I'll get the factory over here. I even have to delay the orbital for a little bit. That's kind of crazy. Let's start that now. There we go. He's gonna move the SCV away or the probe rather. And now I'm gonna take extra workers out of gas because I do wanna expand at some point. I'm not gonna go crazy again and proxy a battle cruiser this time. I'm just very simply gonna proxy widow binds i should build an armory as well um i can totally afford that i think because after this i'll get i'm really trying to piece this build together as we go i'm gonna get one marine that marine's whole purpose uh, is simply to keep the probe away from my natural then i'm gonna make an armory and then i'll expand after that and i i really hope that somehow we can get these widow mines in because it would just be fantastic and let's get the armory i don't want to proxy it because i'm might use the armory later like let's say we actually get into a fully fledged battle cruiser widow mine game uh, i would like to have an armory right so that's important and uh, let's see should i make a depot i'm not sure how many widow mines i'll be able to get into his base you know that's the thing let's see so he's going for a twilight he, oh that is wait is he on one base that is a super fast robo is this a one base opener or did he just yeah it is all right yeah i was wondering like you you can't afford those things that fast like, I saw a Twilight finished, and then a Robo at 240. Now, I have a Widow Mine on his natural, so he's never going to be able to take his natural. At the same time, it looks like we're going to go up against something like DTs. That is the best guess I have. Now, I want to sync these as up as best as possible, so I'm going to go uh, with two Widow Mines as soon as the Reaper gets in. Oh, the Reaper is going to form a fantastic distraction here. It's going to allow these to get in. Uh, I know there's a Dark Shrine there. He's trying to hide his best, but it has to be a Dark Shrine, I think. Exactly there. It is. He didn't notice the Widow Mines! Oh, no! Look at these! Oh, my God! That is actually fantastic. He didn't even make an Observer yet. I have one more Widow Mine. Guys, he might not even be able to get the Observer out if I micro this Widow Mine to perfection. Watch this, wait a minute. I'm gonna burrow next to the robo and try to go for a scan. It's not something that should work, but I'm gonna give it a shot. Oh, I'm just too late for that one. I'm still gonna try to hunt it down though. Come here, Mr. Observer, where are you going? Okay, here we go. I might have... Wait, is he gonna try to kill that? He's insane! Oh my goodness, I can't believe that paid off. There we go. Three more pros going down, and I can even run away with these. Now, what am I gonna do at home? Uh, probably just save scans. I don't think I really want to um, go for a, for like a eBay and turrets. I think it's just a little bit too expensive. I think we're fine if I just save scans. I think it's all I have to do. I am gonna, go you know, I am reaching my limit of marines though. So do I make like I don't know widow mines or something to deal with the DTs? That that part I didn't think quite through. You can tell, uh, but I'll do my best. Let's resaturate this gas. Uh, making a bunker would be nice, but I killed so many of his workers already that I don't think I need a spectacular defense here. Here we go. Oh, I'm dying to DTs. Hey, watch. The observer's gonna die. No. Wait. I'm, oh, I, that works, I guess. We got the DT. Uh, oh, dude. I'm not gonna lie. I completely forgot my factory. <laughs> I had to fly all the way back for that. <laughs> for some reason, I thought it was... Okay, that's really dumb. I'm not gonna lie. That's just... <laughs> That, that's really not the smartest thing I've ever done. I'll put it that way. I was like, all right, I'm going to make double win of my production. Wait, where's my factory? And then I see it fly all the way back from the main base. Okay, that's not... That, yeah, that's not my best move ever, but it's all right. Maybe if I wall my natural, that's going to help. It, it does feel really silly that my defense against this is going to be a battle cruiser. Like, literally, I, I'm not allowed to make any other unit because I don't have a factory landed. My, my defense against this is literally going to be a battle cruiser, guys. Okay, so there's... That's two DTs, right? Or is it just one? Oh, it might just, Okay, it's just one. That's fine. I'll just damage the DT a little bit then. And then I'll start getting some turrets. Uh, I already have a lot more economy, so it feels fine. Oh, I thought this was a Widow Mine here. Sadly not. I should I should have saved one. That would have been a really good play to just save one. So when he thinks it's over, you go back in with the one and that's uh, how you can own him. Now, the best move he can do is go for an Archon drop. So he makes one more DT and then drop an Archon because DTs are not going to... Yeah, exactly. Okay. Good move, Joe. He's listening to me. Very good move. Uh, yeah, I can't do anything as the Archon. The sad part for him is I have a Battlecruiser finishing. Uh, that Widow Mine is going to kill his Prism, uh, which is very painful. There you go. No more Warpins. And now the Battlecruiser is going to be able to bring this one home for me. He doesn't have DTs left and he doesn't have the Prism. So I can just freely drop all my meals. I'm gonna bait these zealots so they can't go to the natural. There we go, that's gonna die. I can even repair it. 
Um, I don't think I really need to. These Wither Mines are going to take care of most of the business here. There we go. It stays alive. The Zealots go down. I don't need to repair any further. I can resaturate the main. And Joe, Bob Joe, uh, has been annihilated officially. And there we go. I'm going to blink in his base. He, he's making his Stargate. I don't think he can make enough to kill this Battlecruiser, to be honest. I can, wait, I can kill this Pylon, too. I, I might as well. I am going to scout the corner of the map because this is... I always tell you guys to do that when they're playing Suspicious. This definitely qualifies as Suspicious, I would say. There we go. He does have a battery overcharge, so I do want to be careful. Believe it or not, two Stalkers do win against the Battlecruiser with a battery overcharge. So, oh, he's not paying attention. He might lose that. Oh, it's very close. He's going to go back to the battery in time. I mean, he's, now he's going to lose this Stalker. It's going to be very close. He needs to activate the overcharge, I think. He doesn't activate it in time. There we go. He activates it now. And I think he just gave away that he has a proxy nexus because I didn't see the energy go down on that one. Uh, yeah, I mean, he had to, right? Maybe he was hoping I wouldn't notice, but now I know for sure that he does have a proxy nexus somewhere. This battle cruiser might die. Wait, where is the nexus, though? I actually have no idea. Wait, am I going to win? Oh, no, it's going to die. Wait, where, where is the nexus? Wait, did he just build it here? Is it literally right here? Wait, now I'm confused. I am ultra confused. Wait. Did he just... Huh? Did he not use energy? Oh my god, I'm insane. Oh yeah, I'm actually insane. Oh, oh well, I'm, I apologize. You guys must be like, what, what are you smoking, Mark? Like, what the hell? I swear, I'm, I'm not lying. I, 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 well, I, I'm always honest about this. This is one thing I'm really bad at in StarCraft. I can never read the energy bar. I am convinced... I saw that he had 50 energy and then, or like 50 or almost 50, and then he used it. I clicked on the Nexus and it said 43. So I was like, well, yeah, I mean, he must have used it from his proxy Nexus, but no, this, how is that more than a hundred? Like, I'm just, I'm just blind. Okay. That's all I can say. Anyway, fantastic game. Fantastic cheese. Let's go to game number three. All right. Game number three against Root Heaven. All right. Grandmaster Protoss. Third Protoss in a row, I believe. Now we are playing in Grespan. I do know... That he watches my content sometimes, so maybe I should skip on flying a factory in his base. Because uh, <laughs> that would be, yeah, not the smartest idea. Wait, does this map have... Oh, he did mess it up. Yeah, you have to do... Wait, is it like this? I think it's without the space, right? There you go. All right, did it for him. Now, wait, on this map... Oh, no, guys, I'm getting tempted. It's 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 close. Does the gas see that? It's, it's actually... Guys, don't tempt me, man. Why are you guys tempting me with this stuff? All right, we're going to do it. Too late. I decided. Well, I, I, I'm i terrified. I think the gas might... Be Wait, maybe I should take my gas first. <laughs> Just so I can see if I can make a freaking uh, thingy over there. That's... That's pretty funny. Okay, let's see. So the, I need to wait for it to finish. The, this, this is the vision of the SCV, which makes me think he wouldn't see it. Does the SCV see further than a building or the same? I'm, I'm actually not quite sure. I feel like that's something I should know. I mean, uh, believe it or not, this is not something I paid a lot of attention to in my pro career, as you can imagine. Um, but all right. Okay, so the last time I did this... Wait, what, what did I even do with the barracks? I don't, did I just make... I don't even remember, actually. Did I just keep them at home or like... Like all the units at home? Did I even make a Reaper? I'm not sure. Okay, so... I mean... There's, there's space. I mean, assuming the map is symmetrical, there is space. The, the scary thing is sometimes what Protoss players do is they'll build a pylon here and like the gate and core or something like that to wall it off, you know? Uh, that case would be very scary. Let me make sure I make a marine. And then I'm going to make a factory over here. And oh god, why am I doing this again? Now, at least I'm going to do it slightly different. I'm not going to go for like the full-on battlecruiser proxy thing. Because uh, that was... I, I don't think it was a good idea, you know. I, I didn't think that was that great. Oh, we're going to kill the probe. That's really nice. And he didn't go back to scout the main, even though he's already sentenced to death. So that is uh, pretty good. Yeah, the thing is, he most likely realized that I don't have a factory. I mean, this is a high-level protos we're playing against, right? So he probably realized that. Uh, sometimes they can just be like, oh, this, this guy's doing a weird build. Maybe he expanded. Like, I don't know. They could, they could think a lot of things. So I decided to make a Reaper anyway after. I'm going to make an instant armor. And after this, uh, I'm going to start a reactor as well. Okay, here we go. I'm so nervous. Please, please don't have a pile on there. I beg you, Mr. Heaven. I know you like my content, so help me make some content, right? Uh, okay, well, the, the gas doesn't see it. Oh my god, it's actually insane on this map too. Let's freaking go. We found a new map for this freaking stupid build. I should... No, I'm actually going to make it on the low ground because it could create more chaos if he finds that. 
right? That, that, that sounds fair enough to say. I'm gonna make a depot. He has a normal Nexus as expected. It's probably an adept up here. Uh, it's a Stalker. Oh, wait. I, could, I can bait the Stalker. You might not even realize. Watch this. I'm microing it on purpose. And now I'm gonna run away. Widowmine is in his main, and now he's gonna have to run, for, run away from the Widowmine. There we go. And that is gonna be... Uh, the armory is gonna finish momentarily, and then it's gonna be invincible forever. All right, so the cheese is looking good. I do need to make a starport. I think the scariest thing about all of this is that I might have to uh, defend something at home. Okay, I'm gonna throw it. I think it's just in time. Yes, we're gonna get a Stalker. All right, this is looking good. And he just GG's. What, let, let's see, what is the status of the Robo? Robo is just started. Oh my goodness, this is, okay, this is rough for him. Guys, he went for a second gate, thinking I was going to do a heavy aggression with my double gas. More likely, he thought I had a factory proxy that was going to really go all in, but then it was freaking this, and the position of this map is so beautiful, the gas barely doesn't see it. He has the Reaper Cliff wall, but it's so far away. He had no detection whatsoever. He was going to lose mining for an eternity. Reaper was here to kill another probe and this cheese is beautiful and i think once again guys this is the most disgusting cheese ever well it's slightly different than the battle control but still it was absolutely beautiful let's go to game number four all right here we go game number four against joe bob joe again wonder if he has another one of those uh <laughs> one base dt stargate crazy builds starting to look like me out here joe not great or well maybe it is great i don't know you guys tell me anyway uh, what am I gonna do this time? Well, last time I cheesed him. I guess this time it's probably better to try go for a macro opener. Don't want to be too predictable against the same opponents, right? So, uh, seems good. This map is also... Well, this is the map we, we lost to... Uh, well, Zero. Zero was his name. The guy that beat us in a freaking 55 in a game. It was on this map and I had a hard time. So, maybe... Maybe it's not the best map for us. Maybe it was just a coincidence that that guy was insanely good. Uh, it's also very possible. It is a nice macro map in general, I believe. Um, if you look at it, I think what, yeah, the map is relatively easy to split. And usually that is comfortable in a macro map for Terran. Uh, against Protoss, maybe not as much as against Zerg. But if you can split the map and you get Liberators and stuff like that, it's a nice macro map. And obviously Liberators here are not going to be uh, are not gonna be built. Unless I am a wild savage cheater, which I'm not. Sometimes on accident. Sorry. Sometimes on accident, but not usually. Now I'm going to go for... Well, actually, no. I was going to say, I'm going to go for an SCV scout because this guy did try to cheese me. I, I don't remember what happened the last time we played him, so maybe he tried to cheese us before, too. But I know he cheesed me the last game, so I don't want to be uh, too greedy. But then again, SCV scouting with a double gas, it's it's maybe a little bit much. Like, my economy is already not that great. Already sac or sacrificing an SCV as well to scout. Well, my economy is already not that great. No, doesn't sound like the best idea to me. I do think... I'm not sure if I remember this one correctly. It's, it's kind of hard to remember the details sometimes, but I feel like he also probe scouted me when he cheesed. Normally, this lowers my suspicion levels. So he's... Huh? He's rushing me from there? Uh, oh, I... I don't think I've ever seen anyone do that. I, I'm not gonna lie. There's probably a reason why we don't see people do that, but uh, <laughs> hopefully we will find out that reason. But well, the probe's gonna die very shortly anyway. I can just hit it from there. I do need to micro this perfectly. I don't wanna die. Uh, oh, well, I, I should I should wait for it to regenerate like one health uh, so I don't risk it. All right, well, I mean, yeah, that other probe is not getting in. Uh, I can tell you that much. Okay, so he's gonna try to make another cannon. He's gonna lose the probe for it. And now I think I just kill the cannons one by one. Uh, <laughs> I mean, it's a cool idea, but I don't know about this one, Joe. This might not be your best creation yet. I'll, I'll just put it that way. Not trying to be rude here, but this might <laughs> this might not be your best creation yet. I'm gonna make sure to kill that one first. Uh, I'm gonna use a couple of extra SVs to repair the bunker. Then I'm gonna kill that. I think I'm gonna hunt the uh, probe. And then I suppose I'll do like a Widowmine drop after. I'm gonna send this Reaper across too. I'm just slowly gonna kill the cannon. And I I am not sure that I've lost anything. I, I don't know if I'm exaggerating, but have I lost anything this game? I, I don't know if I have. I might have lost an SCV or something that I forgot about or, or a Marine or I, I don't know. Have, have we actually lost anything at all? I'm, I'm not even convinced. Uh, I mean, it is, once again though, even if it didn't work, that is a super cool idea. I really like it. Uh, let's see what he's building behind his mineral line. I'm going to try to do as much scouting as possible. There is simply a pylon there. He's, he's trying to surround me. That's kind of crazy, Joe. Relax. 
All right, we're gonna get out. That's nice. I'm gonna go for my one base fusion core. That is obviously not crazy. Um, and then I think I'm gonna drop the marines. Let's see, I'm gonna get two widow mines. No, just one widow mine actually. Yeah, it's better like this. Okay, and then we'll just start attacking here. Let's see if he's building anything there. Uh, that is something. Looks like a stargate to me. There we go. This is a stargate. Maybe we can escape with the grenade. Barely not. All right. You got me, Joe. I'll admit defeat. Joe has gotten us. I, I didn't even realize the gateway was there, by the way. I literally saw that just now. Uh, well, I'm flying with my medevac across. My man Joe here does not have units. <laughs> I mean, he could have recalled a stalker or something. Well, besides that, he does not have units. My marines are here. I'm just going to be able to camp this forever. I mean, he, ha he has enough energy to recall. Uh, so that adept, I think that was, it sounded like an adept at least. It just died to my widow mines. And I think Joe... Uh, you could say he's in a little bit of trouble here. He's not really getting that much mining done anymore. I do wonder if he's going to go for DTs again. Like, he is pretty crazy. Is it like another one of those Stargate DT games? Maybe. Wait, I could... Guys, I didn't even think of this. I can I can literally just kill his gases. And he's not going to be able to build anything. I mean, I have the Widow Mine still, right? So I can just put the Widow Mine here. Defending the Marines. And then I'll just keep him hostage the entire game by killing his gases. Oh, this is brutal. I hope, yeah, the Widow Mine is barely not going to shoot, I think, because of the, the way the probes go into the gas. Let's see, make sure it actually doesn't shoot. Joe is not mining any gas, guys, and he's trying to go for a Stargate. I, I don't know what to tell him, but it's not looking great. So there's one Void Ray here. Uh, five Marines do beat a Void Ray, especially with the Medivac. There you go. He's taking a lot of damage already. Let's make sure I kill the cannon. He does have a battery. Uh, micro that Marine. There we go. Try to micro all of them. And I suppose I'll just be shooting the Nexus for a while. I mean, I have a bad... I should get Yamato because it is Void Rays after all. Uh, vo Void Rays are quite good against Battlecruisers, but not that great if you have enough Yamatos. Making a lot more Widow Mines here. I think this is a, a game where I should definitely be... Oh, we can see that with the cannon. Okay, that's my bad. Uh, I should definitely be checking for hidden bases again. Even though he committed so much, I really doubt that he has anything in particular. Uh, just going to do some micro here. There we go. Pull that back when it's being targeted. He could use a battery overcharge. I'm not sure if it's worth it, but he could. There we go. Okay, now he has two. Yeah, that's getting a little scary. Um, it doesn't really matter, though. I just need to make sure I scout the map. Probably get more battle cruisers out. Like, it's crazy, but this is like the first game where we can't teleport our battle cruiser across the map. And that's after all the damage we did. This is like the first game where we can't teleport it because two void rays would absolutely dunk in my battle cruiser, and that is uh, unpleasant. I'm gonna... Um, let's see. I I'm trying to feel it. The Void Rays are gonna be right here, guys. And they're gonna fly exactly over it, both be 1 HP, and then the Battlecruiser kills them. That's exactly what's gonna happen. He's, he's not gonna go anywhere else. Wait, is he... Okay, for a second, I thought he was building something there. Uh, I should spread my Widow Mines out a lot, though, in case my uh, absolutely... You know, my prediction with absolutely no bases is wrong. <laughs> in that case, it would be nice to be prepared for him to come into another angle. Uh, with this many widow mines, I think I should just be able to... Okay, the Voidry is still at home. Then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go forward with everything. Like, the cannons are very good against the widow mines. That's the tough part here. But with two battle cruisers, I can just kill the cannon, move the widow mines through it, basically. Uh, and that should be very hard for him to deal with. I don't have an armor yet, but I don't think I should get one uh, with the amount of cannons my opponent already has. I'm going to start mining this gold so I can take this third base. Seems comfortable. Oh, wait, actually... Guys, I should take this rich gas over here. This is like the first time I ever had the opportunity. So I definitely want to go for it too. He's making another Stargate. Yeah, this is definitely one of those weird, uh, you know, mass Stargate kind of games. Okay. Gonna kill the first cannon. That's gonna be super nice. And then put these Wither Mines into his face one by one. Here we go. Wait, I, wait, I can even go to the main base. Oh, he does. Why is there a cannon there, Joe? Why are you, why are you gonna ruin my plans like this? It's not cool. I mean, he, he can use as many probes as he wants. There's there's so many Widow Mines, he has to lose all of his probes for that to happen. So I, I, I really don't care. Go ahead, Joe. Trigger my Widow Mines. It's, it's only 15 of them. <laughs> all right, let's kill this one. Um, I'm going to try to kill the cannons that he's trying to bring up and not push too hard. I do have... No, I don't. I thought I had another Yamato. I mean, he can try. I, there's too many Widow Mines, Joe. Don't do it. No. Oh, I mean, he had to. Uh, he didn't have really have another choice there. Void Ray goes down. All of them go down, in fact, and that means my Battlecruiser have free reign. And this was another disgusting game, but Joe, I mean, he was horribly far behind after the early game, just like the first game we played. Really cool cannon rush, though. I 
genuinely appreciate that he went for that. I always tell you, I love creativity in games. So even though it's not the best rush, it, it was kind of funny. I already knew it wasn't going to work. It wasn't the best rush. It is a really cool idea. Maybe someone else would have panicked and imploded for me. I usually stay pretty calm. And it was an awesome game. Game four, done and dusted. Let's go to game number five. All right, the final game of the day. Wait, is that our first non-protos? I think it is. I've been recording for 52 minutes. The video is probably like... 40 or 35 or something at this point with all the queue times. Uh, and I think this is our first non-Protoss player, a Zerg player for the final game of the day. Um, and I I think I just want to switch it up a little bit from the normal pattern. So I'm going to go for uh, the CC first double battle cruiser build. And why, what I mean with switching it up is like, if I play again, a Reaper expanded and teleport one battle cruiser across and stuff like that, you know, it's starting to look a lot like those TVPs. And it would be uh, lovely to have something different. So I'm going to go with the CC first here. It is scary, scary to do CC first when you're like a lot higher in MMR. I think it was about 500 MMR below me or so. Because uh, then they're more likely to cheese thinking, bro, in the macro game, I'm going to lose. But if I get a sneaky cheese in, that could be plus 40 MMR. So uh, it's 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 a little scary. But maybe uh, despite the CC first, I would be able to defend the cheese. Who knows? And go for the command center. Now, I, I will still SCV scout, though. You can do CC first without doing SCV scouts. That's... I mean, it's not fully psycho, but it's starting to get into psycho territory. Um, especially when you don't know your opponent. So I'm just going to go for an SCV scout here. Try to time it so that it looks like a normal one. But like I mentioned before, I feel like most people won't be able to distinguish between... Maybe like a, an SCV scout that's three seconds later or earlier, you know? Like may, maybe pros would just have an in instinct that says like, wait, this SCV scout is off. But I think like the lower Grandmasters and stuff, I really doubt they're going to notice that I'm scouting at a 125 instead of 128 or 122 or whatever it is, you know? Uh, now, okay, for a second I thought I misplaced my barracks, but it is in the right position. And I'm going to go for the factory with this SCV. I, I wonder, I'm not sure how many of you guys watch pro games. Uh, but recently, uh, Serral played against Clem, and he actually used a new build uh, that was created by Eric, a Brazilian Zerg player. It was a completely new strategy, which is really cool this deep into StarCraft 2, right? Like, he's, like, freaking 12 years old or something. Um, and it's it's basically a build with a faster hatchery and a faster spawning pool. Uh, you do, like, a double extractor trick, and then you, you get double inject faster. I, I don't remember exactly what it's about. But I wonder how a build like that would work against CC first. Because, like, a normal pool first uh, is pretty bad against CC first. Well, maybe that version is decent. Maybe the Lynx just hit it, like, an, a really awkward timing or something. Like, I don't know. Uh, I should have made a Reaper, actually. That's yeah, I'm just going to go for the reactor then. Yeah, I should have made a Reaper first. That's a slight mistake by me. Uh, but that's all right. I mean, it, it's a small enough mistake that I... Yeah, I think it's okay. Now, let's see if I can find anything else with this SCV. I want to make sure his links don't move out without me seeing it. Maybe they could have already. Something I notice usually by the time I do this last game of the day, I'm already pretty tired and I start missing certain things. So he's mi There's actually nice scouting here. He has four links at home and he's mining from these, so he probably wasn't like this is third base. This SCV should just should just die for being here. <laughs> it sounds kind of something rude like that, but, uh, you know, his, the link should punish it, but they, they didn't. So there's one link moving out there. And now, okay, this is a little bit scary. Um, and the reason why it's scary is because if he see if he enters my natural at all and sees I'm gonna have all these gases, that's too suspicious. So I can't let the zergling in. I'm gonna make one widow mine, I think, and then the next two marines. I maybe he didn't send the second overlord. It's very possible. So I lost the zergling. Looks like the zergling went to the watchtower. Actually, that is quite pleasant. Then I'm gonna be able to make a second starport. Let's get you guys mining those gases. Second starport going up, um, and then I'll make a bunker as well. That bunker might kill my timing a little bit, but it's probably worth it if I don't, uh, you know, get scouted. Okay, the two Marines came in time. Those Zerglings are not going to get through. Okay, that was so close. Oh my goodness, they almost got through there. That's insane. And I, so I denied every scout. Wait, that actually stopped. No, it didn't. Okay, for a second I thought it stopped building, but I was just rallying there uh, on accident. So, all right, that was very close to being a crisis. We denied the second Overlord. I didn't think it was there, but I moved my Marines there to check anyway. Denied the Overlord. Zerglings attacked me for one second uh, and weren't able to get any scouting done. Here we go. I see where the second Overlord is moving, so I'm going to deny that as well. I think I might need one more supply depot. I do hope we're not going to get cheesed. No, come here. Because that would be uh, very, very scary. Yeah, one more depot. Here we go. And I'm going to lower that. I mean, if this is roaches or something, we're just we're just going to be in a massive amount of trouble. I'm going to make Yamato first. 
I'm gonna cancel these two SCVs, and then the timing is gonna look pretty decent once again. Yeah, I mean, ideally, I don't have to make this bunker, right? You can tell I need I need a hundred more minerals exactly. Not making. <gasps> I let him in. Oh no, guys! I I need all my marines here, just so he doesn't see the second star. But he is gonna see it. Oh wait, is that that is not the same overlord, is it? Is that a third overlord? I I am very confused. Did that heal all the way up? There's no way, right? Does that? Oh, that's a fat hit. I, I I need to know the truth now. I'm sending out this widow by the scout. Was that the same freaking overlord? Did it fly around that fast and heal? There's no way, right? And this overlord was all the way here. It was also bruised. But oh my god, I think my mind is just blown. No, it's it. So, did he send three overlords to my base? Who does that? I mean, if it was this one, that would be a genius play, actually. But that is... Three overlords. Huh. Man, I'm just... My mind is freaking blown. I, my, I feel like my mind gets blown a lot, but my mind is truly blown. I'm going to move these Widow Mines across the map. Uh, I don't think he's going to have a Spire yet because he scouted it pretty late, so I'm safe to teleport. But I do need to scan to see where I can teleport to. Okay, there's the Spire. Uh, that Spire is going to die instantly to these Battlecruisers, so that's at least pretty nice. He's going to have to restart that. There we go. Spire is going to go down. I don't know where the Queens are. Uh, do look like I found a couple of them. Okay. Oh, those no, actually killed the... Wait, oh, targeted uh, a queen there. That's a little bit risky. There we go. Two of them going down. Yamato is going to finish, and I got both of them too. Now he doesn't have a spire, and he lost four queens already. He has six gas in preparation for the spire, but he doesn't have the spire to use it. So what I need to do now is I'm going to put... Wait, I, I killed all of the Zerklings, right? I, I can send these freaking across. Okay, I'm going to kill that extractor. He's moving this, so maybe I can target the queen. No, good enough micro by him. I mean, I got two more battle cruisers coming up. The spire is not going to finish in time, guys. I'll be able uh, to scan his main. The spire is probably... Uh, oh, it's not there. Uh, maybe it's like above here. Oh, that is not a good spore move. And he's going to lose both the queens. And he revealed the spire. The spire is now going to die too. And I think we have checkmated him. He's not going to have units to deal with this. He doesn't have enough queens. I have two more battle cruisers coming in, guys. And I think that's going to be the end of him. He really felt like he had all the tools necessary. But then he just kind of messed it up, to be honest. Like, he lost the Spire. Then he moved the Spore that was covering the Spire. Lost that, too. And now I have enough battle cruisers to just kill his uh, Spores one by one. He's moving the Spore. That, that's four battle cruisers. I'm sorry, man. I know Spores are good against BCs. But that's maybe a little bit too ambitious. And there we go. No GG by the Zerg. Okay, that was just freaking brutal. He had so much going for himself. He had, like, 65 work four bases he scouted it he had the spores i think what he did do by the way very important to notice here he stopped building queens you are supposed to have seven queens at least if you see this at least you go for a nine queen build that's also a standard opener but if you see double bc you just non-stop make queens. He could have had 12, and then he's completely fine. Two BCs don't even beat 12 queens. Believe it or not, they do not. And then the first Spire doesn't even die. Maybe if I target it, it dies, but I'll take a little damage on the BC. Then he goes for the Spire, and he's completely fine. But as it is, he messed it up. He maybe was a little bit too overconfident scouting it. And you can see it in the units lost. 400 against 4250. Over 10 times the research lost. Everything I lost were just four Widomites that I walked across the map. And this was an absolutely brutal game. And another absolutely absolutely beautifully brutal episode hope you guys enjoyed it as well make sure to give a video a like subscribe to the channel and i'll see you all for the next one adios